Hang up and call one 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 immediately. Wellness centre. Feels like free samples to me. Mm. But of what? Thanks, Jojo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are bringing Chris a lovely painting that his very talented granddaughter did of him. Wow, <laughs> and it's so lifelike. Yeah, I'm loving the blue hair. <laughs> well, she gets that from her poor dear departed father, the artistic eye. Not on a copper, then. <laughs> Sorry? You are doing a fabulous job, Leanne. Yeah, best nanny since Mary Poppins. Quite possibly. <laughs> well, it's nice to be appreciated for once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, now actually I feel more like a, a grandmother to Amelie now. <laughs> Part of the family. Well, I hope we're not taking you away from your real family. No, no, I'm just giving them a bit of space right now. The girls have been snippy about my bright, shine friends. What's this? Oh, Leanne's new church. Did you tell Nicole and Maeve about their generous donation to the Phoenix Trust? <laughs> Didn't make the slightest bit of difference. Prejudice, really. Not giving people of faith a fair hearing. Mm. Pity. No, I don't know much about your church, but there's always room for a spiritual element in yeah, life. I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> I wish everybody was as open-minded as you and me. Oh, I'm as open-minded as the next-gen Zedder, but I'm not stepping foot in some happy, clappy Jesus fest. Well, we prefer charismatic and community-minded. Well, you should check us out. You might be surprised. I doubt that, but thank you. Well, sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe in, even if it doesn't win you any popularity contests. Hm. I love your lipstick. Thank you. It's called Femme Fatale. I got it at this, this bougie online store. I can send you the link. Thanks, but my mum would never let me wear it. Oh, she's not into makeup. No way. And that extends to you not wearing any. My parents are... Conservative and modest. Not that your lipstick is like, too, um, too out there or anything. Well, I don't care if it is. All eyes on me, baby. Hi, someone's having fun. Yeah, we're just swapping makeup tips. Nice. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I've just had a text from Billy's teacher. Apparently, he's scaring the other kids with talk of Satan. What the hell? Precisely. I thought he was okay. Yeah, I know, me too. Obviously, there's something festering. Right, well, it's. Sit him down tonight and have a good chat. Yeah, my thoughts are sadly. <laughs> Apologies, as you were. Who was that? Sorry, right. I should have introduced you. Um, that's my wife, Nicole. You're married. I know, child and bride and all that. No, I mean, to a woman. Correct. One very amazing woman. So you're lesbian, yeah. Now you seem a little thrown. Am I your first out and proud gay? Actually, no, but I'm tired. Do you mind if I have a sleep? Sure. Yeah, I'll just I'll close the blinds. Right, so just so that we're clear, you're definitely not going to hell. Heaven then? Some people believe that. Us? Uh, but not really. Nina? is definitely leaning that way. Yeah, today, but tomorrow it might be a different story. Um, the point is, the scary things that those kids were saying, they're not real, okay? They're, they're made up to, to scare you into following the rules. But that's good though, right? Um, well, sometimes, but really it's better if we follow the rules because we want to. Yeah, not because we're scared. My mother, the gift that keeps on giving. She's just throwing herself into her latest thing because my mother broke her heart. Now, is that fair? Dumping all the stuff on Billy just because she's hurt? It's not. She needs to respect our boundaries. Yeah, and stop frightening my son. I'm gonna have a chat with her. No, I know, but not an argument, just a talk. So that she understands and respects our beliefs. I mean, that's not too much to ask for, is it? Lucky that Chris didn't want me early today. I'm usually on my second cappuccino by now. <laughs> Wonderful coffee at the Warners. <laughs> no skimping on quality. Cool. Thank you for coming over. Have a seat. <clears throat> <clears throat> we need to talk to you about Billy. Oh, is everything all right? Uh, actually, no. He's still a bit spooked. 
Oh, is this about my bright shine friends? Have you just invited me over to have another go? No. We simply want to explain our position. Obviously, you're entitled to go where you want and to believe what you want. Very generous. But we don't like you sharing your heaven and hell, eternity in a fiery pit sermons. We call them teachings. Well, Billy is too young. And it's frightened him. Oh, well, obviously, I don't want that. Right, so we can agree then. There'll be no more talk of bright shine near him. Actually, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick about my church. I think you'll find that it's far more enlightened. But you're the mothers. I'll play by your rules. Thank you, Mum. So, where is my boy? I can drop him at school, if you like, on the way to the Warners. Chris won't mind if I'm a couple of minutes late. He's just so grateful for all my help. That would be lovely. Thank you, Mum.